Hi guys, this morning I responded to somebody on the forum and it was theoretical, but today I have this happening on my system. So what do you do when you get, so it's a workflow kind of thing, I need to solve it myself now. I haven't seen it before, so here is something that can happen. There is a package A and it has a lots of lots of dependencies and DEFG and there's another package that also has dependencies and there is this reference to it. So whatever is bugging it, we need to be able to update our systems. So the first thing I responded is try to remove it. Anything that this is making it impossible to update, let's see if we can remove WebKit. Qt5 WebKit, right? So you remember the word and later on when updates come in, see if it works again. So that's one thing. That's removing the obstruction, uh, meaning a file. So sudo remove a file, sudo re remove minus R. Maybe I should just type it quickly. Sudo remove, remove is this, right? If it's a folder, it's R recursively. Otherwise, it's, you go to user, share, and whatever file is, is obstructing things. Another thing you can do is sudo pacman minus um, s, then the package name, and then I think it was overwrite, and then overwrite equals everything, for example. And that's also something that you can do. So if there is a file somewhere needs to be overwritten, you're really, really, really sure, right? That's the only solution for your problem. You can say, Pacman, never mind whatever is there, um, just overwrite the things, and then maybe you're also in the clear. So we've removed this one. That's all gone, okay? So Qt5 WebKit is the one we've removed. If you forget, right, workflow, there's a lot of Come on, Control Alt Enter. Yes, twice now. Go to the computer file system var log. There is a file for Pacman, so Pacman log, and you can have a look at the what did we do last kind of thing. And is of course installing lots of things now at this point in time. But we removed WebKit, right? WebKit, and hopefully there he is hopefully is in there. And if you re don't remember the name anymore, you can find it again here. Let's see if um, 2012, so that's before. This is December, this is January, this is February, right? There have been a few updates, so to see. Right, so here we remove it. So that's our date of today. At this point in time, I've decided to remove Qt5 WebKit. There is no need to immediately install it again. I wouldn't. I would just see, right? Am I missing anything? Is there something wrong now because of my removal? Uh, but check it out, right? Because again, he says here, can't resolve. But what I need to do after such a big update is, of course, reboot. And then maybe you can try again when everything is applied again and uh, is working. So just wait for it, write it down somewhere. You know where it is, var log pacman, Qt5 webkit, that's the one we removed. Nothing happens, everything works. There's no need for it, okay? Have fun, cheers.